So we're at the Licorice Bistro out in the north of Johannesburg at the Nickelway Shopping Centre. Now this evening they're launching, well they're not really launching but they're celebrating old flavours on their menu. As you can see I'm seated in between the chef whose name is Carol as well as the owner of the restaurant Akin. Now Carol let's start with you. You're going back to some of the old flavours right? Definitely. Why? Well basically we started with more healthier food, more cleaner food because our food is very it, it was very rich and um, curry flavors. So basically what we said is all the flavors started feeling like it's the same over and over. So we said, let's try a new approach. So we tried a new approach. All of the dishes didn't work out so well. Yeah. So, and a lot of our customers felt like they want to come back to Licorice for the babuati flavors, the curry flavors, all the traditional flavors that built this to what it is. So we said, let's bring back those dishes with some of the new dishes that work very well because at the end of the day, I mean, it's about the customers. Yeah. If the customers want it, then, you know, we have to accommodate everyone and yeah. get a happy <laughs> medium. <laughs> and so what is the most popular dish on the menu? Sure. We've got a couple. Um, from starters, we've got a chili salt squid with cardamom, mayo and tomato achat, which you guys are going to have tonight for yeah. starters. Um, that's doing very well. Then we're also very famous for our tasting plates. We do a trio of filler three different ways. Yeah. And I suppose licorice bistro. So I would imagine that you do have some dishes that have like a licorice infused flavor, right? Yeah, of course. We've got a fantastic licorice ice cream, um, which is what we make with, licor with licorice flavored spices. Yeah. So you could just any seed your fennel seeds and yeah it's a great eat it's yeah. it's amazing once again one's a, one of Aki's favorites <laughs> and what's the what's the what's the dessert today because I've got such a sweet tooth so dessert today for dessert today okay so you're doing a chocolate fondant so if you ginger biscuit ice cream with a milo fudge then you've got an all-spice pavlova mm -hmm. and pomegranate and I love pavlova by the way yeah. and then of course we finish off with a gingerbread ice cream well thank you well I can't wait for that menu And Aki, I understand you own like four restaurants in Joburg. Yes, we do. Um, in Joburg and Pretoria, there's three in Johannesburg. It's Licorice, uh, Green Peppercorn in Morningside, Love Fish in Morningside, and then Harissa in Pretoria. And how does one decide that they want to be a restaurant? Yeah, this is what you want to do. <laughs> because it seems like such a lot of work. It is. It's very hard work. But I just got into it and we only found out later how hard it <laughs> But the work part only came later. It's very hard. Yeah, I started, I wanted to go into hotels and conquer the world and we got into restaurants. It was just, it just happened and it just, yeah, I've been in there since I was 18 years old, so. Yeah, and this restaurant is doing really well because I live not far from here, literally just down the road from here. And I remember when the shopping center opened, um, you know, it kind of got into like a rhythm where, you know, there was like dinner places, there was like more lunch play, um, places and this is more like a dinner spot, right? Um, it does. Uh, we do we do breakfast on the weekend. Uh, uh, during the week, it's lunch through to dinner, but it has a, a steady flow of clientele, but it is more of a dinner uh, place, yes. And I'm saying this because when I look at the venue, it's, it's just, it's beautiful and it seems like it comes alive more in the evening. I mean, the red couch, the chandeliers, I mean, I can only imagine when you started designing the restaurant and you're walking through with somebody and deciding what kind of look you want. Yes, um, it does work well. It, it works much better in the evening because of all the lighting and it, it gives that intimate, uh, well, not intimate because it's quite loud, but <laughs> it, does, it does give that warm feeling, yeah. you know, in the evening. So, yes, it does work much better in the evening. But because we're in a shopping center, yeah. the lunch trade is uh, very popular and uh, it does work. Yeah. Uh, so what was the look you were going for? And I'm curious about this red card. Why are you decided? <laughs> <laughs> when we first named it Licorice, I was worried that everybody's going to think it was an ice cream parlor. Yeah. And we just flowed with that, with the black and the red, the red, and, and that's how we just got to the colors. Yeah. Uh, we brought, introduced all the, the red couches. We want to update. We are, we've been open for five years, so it's time to update and give it a new, fresh look. And we will do later in the year. We will be introducing uh, and, and, a new look, not complete change, but a new look. And the red is going to go because I actually like this car. We we'll see. We haven't found what I, I haven't found what I'm looking for yet. I, yeah. I haven't got the inspiration yet. Hopefully, it'll come soon. <laughs> and you obviously have other restaurants as well. It's not just licorice. You also have one of my actually one of my favorite spots as well in Morningside. I mean, I'm, I'm you know you live and you learn. Um, the Green Peppercorn Restaurant. Yeah. Yes, um, that was our first uh, restaurant. It's been going for seven years. Each shop has got its own personality. I, I've never. I've never wanted to own a franchise, so I, I, I believe that each shop's got its own personality, its own menu, its own, it's an experience for the, the, the customer and I, I think it's very important. 
he's sat next to Alexi, who is from Martel. Now, Alexi, you are, I suppose, the brand ambassador at Martel? Yeah, I'm the Cognac, Martel Cognac brand ambassador in South Africa. And all the way from France? Yeah, all the way from France, exactly. So tell us about this evening. Why did you decide to actually get involved with this evening? Um, so we've met with uh, Steve around um, a nice glass of Martel and uh, we thought that it could be a good idea to work with these brands and to link it to um, such a great venue as Licorice and uh, because they wanted to showcase what they do, uh, it was a great way to, to showcase as well our know-how and our specificities as a cognac brand. And so what are some of the cognacs that we're going to be tasting this evening? So tonight we're going to taste the full South African ranch. Um, so we're going to have four different cognacs. The, our VS in South Africa, which is Martel Character. Quite a young cognac, but very fresh, very fruity. Uh, then we will taste Martel Noblige with a starter. Uh, it's a fruitier cognac, richer. And then we have the pleasure to taste two different uh, cognac exos. So the Martel Exo with the main and with the dessert Martel Cordon Bleu. And I must be honest, like I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a big alcohol person, and I'm, and I'm, I don't quite understand it that much. So for somebody that's probably like me and trying to understand, you know, cognac, bourbon. I know bourbon is American, but just to understand what cognac is exactly. So cognac is a type of brandy. Um, so every cognac is a brandy, but not every brandy is a cognac. Uh, it's a French brandy made in the cognac region of France. Oh, so it's like champagne and sparkling wine, where you guys insist that champagne is only found in France. That's, that's true. <laughs> um, we are very conservative about our stuff. Uh, but, um, so cognac is a spirit you get from the distillation of white wine, to make it simple. Oh, okay, wow. So, that's what we have in this evening. Now, I'm more interested in the dessert. What cognac is going to go with the dessert? Because I'm looking chocolate fondant and I'm like, what could possibly go with that? So, with our dessert tonight, we'll have, uh, with the chocolate fondant, we'll have Martel Cordon Bleu. Uh, so it's a cognac that was created in 1912 by the great, great, great grandson of our founder in the purest Martel style. And it's a cognac made with grapes from Borderie in majority. And the Borderie will give you a lot of fitness, a lot of floral taste. Uh, so you have some chocolate hints, some um, coffee hints as well, notes, and uh, some orange, uh, orange notes as well. So it will pair beautifully with that chocolate cake. Well, I definitely can't wait. Thank you very much, Alexi. So as you heard, there's quite a lot to look out for this evening. So tonight's event at the Licorice Bistro is in conjunction with the Joburg Foodie. His name is Steve and he's been on our show a couple of times every two weeks talking about some of the greatest places to eat out. Now, Steve, what is this evening about? Yes, well, Sutu, thank you for joining us. Firstly, it's great to have you here. So basically, Foodies Night Out came about because I thought a lot of people were looking for really different, interesting things to do. And I thought I was very lucky I've got the contacts in the media, and we're starting it off for media only. And eventually I'd like to bring it to the general public. So a beautiful night with beautiful food, either a wine, a cognac like we're doing tonight, Martel have come on board. So really excited to have them here. And just create a kind of moving dinner club. So every month it'll be somewhere else and just really cool experiences because we do have places to have them in Johannesburg. Yeah. So why this restaurant? Why did you start with Licorice? So Licorice and I, we've had quite a good relationship. We go back a few years and they actually approached me to do that event and I thought, well, this is the perfect thing to do. And it was a natural progression. Licorice came on board and then I was like, well, let's look for a drink sponsor. And then I met Alexi, who you chatted to too. And we thought, why not do a pairing with Martel? It seems to work well. The space lends itself to that. And yeah, so it just kind of was a really natural process. Because it is sort of like a very cognac-y space. I mean, it's got like the chandeliers, it's got the yeah, leather exactly. couch. Yeah. yeah, no, very much so. So I, it, it does fit in with brand. The brands align very well together. The food style works well. You'll see what we've done with the menu is we actually look through the menu and look through the tasting notes of the cognac. And we decided which meals would go best with which cognacs. So each one is really thought out. It's not like we just kind of said, these are our drinks yeah, yeah, of the night, yeah. let's put food to it. Yeah. There's a very much a process to what we're having. We actually met here earlier last week and we went through each meal and which cognac we're having with them. And what is your favorite dish on the menu? Well, what we're having this evening. Yeah. What we're having this evening, I'd have to say dessert. It's a chocolate fondant, it's beautifully made, gorgeous oozing chocolate. So, and it's also paired with my favorite cognac, which is the Martel Cordon Bleu. So very looking forward to that. Okay, great stuff. Thanks very much, Steve. Thank you, Susu.
Well, it's been a beautiful evening out at the Licorice Bistro in Bryanston. There's been lots of cognac, lots of laughter, and lots and lots of food. So if you're ever out in Bryanston at the Nickelway Shopping Centre, be sure to check out the Licorice Bistro. If not for the food or the drinks, then definitely for that beautiful red couch. <laughs>